This week on Sail Away, after a four-day unexpected hospital stay in St. Thomas, we're trying to regroup and get our groove back. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't our best trip to Charlotte, that's for sure. So we head back to Brewers Bay with the hopes that a little R&R &R will get us back on track. The residents there have a very calming effect, but the universe just doesn't seem to want us to have our way. We're still sitting right in St. Thomas because the generators decided not to work. This looks promising. <laughs> but it's not just the second string generator giving us trouble, it's the first string as well. <sighs> All right guys, we are getting very frustrated here. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. We're finding ourselves desperate for power and trying to make the most of it. Lights, lights went out and brewers. <laughs> but you can still read your dog, man. That's what really matters. This is us trying not to damage our lithium batteries. But it's it's twelve seventy four. Twelve point seven four. Yeah, that's real close to what's considered dead for lithium. And we're not sure what it's going to take to actually leave here and make our way to Grenada. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. I'll be yours Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. Well, this was not how we wanted our Charlotte and Molly trip to be. Basically, we came over here. Eric spent four days in the hospital. We went to the grocery store and now we're leaving. <laughs> we're hoping to have a little bit more fun, but that did not happen. It's all good. Eric feels good now. I'm very, very happy that we have to be over here when it happened. But yeah, I would hope next time it's a little less eventful and a little bit more fun. I would like it to be forgettable. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't our best trip to Charlotte, that's for sure. So we're leaving. Yeah, so we are heading back to Brewers. Um, we at least know we can swim over there. That's the big plan. Hopefully we can just like settle in. Eric, get all the work done that he has been missing uh, while he was in the hospital. And then we will get out of here. We will get out of here this week. Yeah. I hope. That's the plan. That's the plan as long as the wind works. So. Fingers crossed, but for now we're just going to uh, get out. We're gonna put the jib up, down on sail. Just trying to, kind of trying to get some mojo back. Can I see your creation? Um, now I'm just decorating. Oh, okay. Let me know when it's finished and we'll get the finished product, okay? It had been a long couple of weeks in Charlotte Amalia, and honestly, one of the most difficult experiences we've had to go through since we left the States four years ago. So many things had delayed us since leaving St. Augustine with the ultimate destination of Grenada, and we were so eager to finally get moving in that direction. We felt like the best first step was to get back to Brewers Bay, where we always feel at peace. With a little luck, the gods would smile upon us and we'd start to feel like ourselves again.
We love Brewers Bay for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is all the wildlife. Tons of seabirds, tons of fish, and last but not least, tons of turtles. And on this visit, we got to see them better than ever before. It felt like a good omen. really good plan for this video. We're going to start out, it's going to be morning, it's going to be nice sunrise and we're moving and you're going to be like, hey, where are you going? What are you doing? Be like, oh, we are finally going to St. Martin. But no, instead, we're staying here for a couple days. We're still sitting right in St. Thomas because the generators decided not to work. So that's what we're doing instead working on generators. Uh, yeah, guys, we were uh, geared up in position to leave here. Regardless, that didn't happen. It was gonna be three in the morning last night. We were planning to leave. And right about, I don't know, late evening, our generator chose that time to give us issues. I think it might be a lift pump, fuel lift pump issue. <laughs> the problem is, this is what happened with our little backup generator. This is our pull start. And on most small motors, you know, you pop that apart, figure out why that little that little pulley system's not re-engaging and going back in there. But on this, you cannot get to it without taking this entire housing apart and getting it off of there. Now that the generator is having its problem, we decided we couldn't really go. We're gonna probably struggle a little bit to keep our batteries up. And then we're gonna need to make water in a couple days. And I would not have had a chance to figure out any of this if we decided to just go. So we decided to stick around and figure it out. Which sucks because now we've missed that little window and we're gonna have to come up with another plan again to get east. And parts here, you know, if it's a lift pump, again, if we were you know, in the States, it's like 50 bucks or less for one of those pumps as an aftermarket. But to buy the Northern Lights version, which there is a dealer here, it's like $200 for that stupid little pump. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and tear this entire generator apart and I can fix the pull start and kind of go from there. Maybe I'll take a break and go try to blow the air through that line and just see if maybe it's some dirt causing a problem. Maybe two things will get fixed today. Maybe none. I guess we'll find out. We'll get out of here soon though. One way or the other. This looks promising. <laughs> well, I managed to get this pin back in its position, which was not easy, man. I did not want to go down in there. So I got them back in their slots they're supposed to be in. So I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue and very carefully 
dab it right here in this split where this thing broke. I'm not sure how that got ripped out of there. I would say these did it. Somehow this didn't disengage basically and so the spinning motor just like just shredded everything. I have very little faith that those will stay connected but who knows grill glue is kind of crazy stuff sometimes it will bond stuff like that stronger than it was to start with my confidence level is somewhere around i'm gonna go 30 percent that i'll get a start out of it uh, another lovely caribbean sunset and some lovely apples and a generator. These apples. How General about these ones. apples? How you like them apples? <laughs> I've been letting this sit because I used Gorilla Glue on a few areas to try to fortify these plastic pieces that I pieced back together even though they had been ripped apart. I'm not going to actually pull start it until tomorrow morning to give the Gorilla Glue time to completely set. And we found the part, the the lift pump for the main generator, I'm almost certain is the culprit. Now I took this fuel pump off and this is obviously just a little diaphragm pump and absolutely nothing flowed through it. So I'm hoping that means what I think it means and that it's the pump. Because we do have a source for that here. You know, I didn't want to spend money on it. It was $190. It's a premium to pay to have the Northern Lights part and to get it tomorrow. And it is a very big deal for us because we do need a generator running. So with that in the works and with this that I've been working on, maybe there's a chance we'll have two generators running tomorrow. I guess we will find out. Anyway, that's what's going on here. Kind of trying to conserve energy a little bit tonight because we haven't been able to do any uh, generator charging of the batteries. But luckily we had a good Sunday, so we had some good solar going. So we should have more than enough to, to last tonight and probably even tomorrow if we had to. The moment of truth! because I want it to work so bad. And there's two possible things standing in the way. One, the start thing might just disintegrate again the second I pull it. And two, I may not have put it back together, right? So... Those are two things against us. It's grabbing, at least. All right. Okay, well the starter's working. The starter's working. Could have done wrong. Open it back up. Open it up the side and just need to figure out what's not hooked up right. Compelling TV right there. we are getting very frustrated here. I troubleshot this thing as much as I could and I was fairly certain this was going to be a fuel pump issue. I ruled out a lot of stuff in the fuel system and it sure seems like a fuel issue because it gets running and then it slowly sort of stops. But I didn't have a fuel pump so I decided to go ahead and try to fix the little generator. It's just the pull start but when I put it back together even though the pull starter was working great the damn thing would not run, which I don't even, I don't even know where to start with that thing. So, so then we're like, okay, we've got to at least try the fuel pump. So we went ahead and told them we wanted the park. They said they'd have to get it on the ferry from the BVI. It should be there before they closed. I rode my scooter over there in the rain. It was kind of dramatic. Just getting there to pick it up, we had to wait because it was on the ferry and it was late and all the stuff. And I went ahead and put the fuel pump in here. 
and it doesn't work. It doesn't actually make it run. So now, I don't know what we're going to do tonight because we have, our batteries are sucked down so low and we can't run them dead, it'll damage them. And I guess the only thing left to do tomorrow is to go look for another generator just for interim charging because we can't mess around with this for days at a time. We have to charge our batteries with something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. Brewers. <laughs> generators. Both of them. Yeah. They're broken. Both of them are bad. Not the moment, but you can still read your dog, man. That's what really matters. In case you're wondering what's going on, this is us trying not to damage our lithium batteries. When, even though we did our best to have a backup generator, neither one of them's working. Despite my best efforts. And tomorrow we'll figure out what on earth to do. Tonight we are trying our damnedest to conserve energy because our batteries are very low. And lithium is not really good for them to go completely dead. So we're not going to run them. I mean, they're, they're close. Last time it was like... Yeah, they're still running everything. 70, but it's, it's 1274. 12.74, yeah, that's real close to what's considered dead for lithium. And when lithium die, they die. Well, worst came to worst, and uh, Eric just got back with our brand new... Generator. This way, it'll give us some time. It's buying the time. Yeah, man, I did not want to have to spend the kind of money we did on that. Obviously, it's like an extremely important piece of gear for us. We bought that one to stay ahead of the game and try to like be on top of things because we're like, you know, this generator up here, it's gonna constantly need like a little this, a little that. All these external parts are rusted and kind of in bad shape. So we knew we were gonna constantly be chasing that stuff. And then we're just scrambling to like have power and not destroy our batteries. And we just can't do that. Generators, man, they are just are not our freaking friend. But since it seems the universe had other plans for us, we can only hope it had good reasons and press on. Dinner before passage. This is pot pie casserole, yeah. chicken pot pie casserole. It looks awesome. And this is exactly what a crew needs if we're going on a passage. Some uh, nice, at least one day passage, some two nice day? comfort food. It's probably gonna be closer, more like two days. We are gearing up to leave tomorrow morning. We've got pretty much everything on the boat ready to go. We had our generator issues this week which meant our batteries got really low so we're doing our best to get them charged up as much as possible with our new portable generator and it doesn't charge at the same rate as our northern lights so that's not bad but when you shut it off that'll be probably about 13 3 again not bad but it's definitely kind of a plateau and we're trying to just keep charging to get them above that We'll see. We gotta. We we need them to last us for the entire passage. So we can't start our generator while we're running, while we're sailing. So we can't start our generator anyway. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, we, yeah, we, we can't. We, we normally, can't normally we could run our generator while sailing. We can't now. So well, we, we need to get. Have us, a backup yeah, but we can't use that one while we're sailing. Is what I'm saying. Why not? Yeah, it would just be kind of tough unless we're sailing real slow, which we could be in some places. Anyway, I'm going to eat. I just wanted to show you this pre-passage meal. Lauren always whips up something yummy the night before. Hot. Is there leftovers? Slot. There you go. That's what you need. Get, get yourself a drink then. 